Welcome to my classroom. Here we are in my classroom here at school and I've brought you here today because I needed this thing right here which is a vacuum pump. And what a vacuum pump, it's like your vacuum at home possibly, but what it does is it moves air from one place to another. So if I put this big bell jar down here, this vacuum pump will remove air through this hose from this jar and we can play with a vacuum. All right, not quite the same as a vacuum at home, but the same principle, removing air from this jar, and then whereas the vacuum at home, it just the air just gets replaced. Uh, here, we won't let any more air get in, and so eventually most of the air will leave this jar, and we need a vacuum to do what we're going to do today. So what we're going to do today is we are going to freeze water by boiling. Okay, and here's the trick. We are going to take acetone, and then we are going to free in some water, and we're going to mix them together, and by boiling the acetone, we're going to freeze the water. We're going to start by putting a little bit of water in our flask here, and that's what we're going to hope to freeze. Just a little bit of water, just enough so we have something to freeze. And then we're going to add some acetone. Now acetone boils really easily, and what it really, you'll, you know it as fingernail polish remover, and you might know that it smells quite strong, and it boil and it evaporates very quickly. And that's what's going to be so useful to us is that it'll evaporate even at uh, the cold temperatures. As it cools off the water, it'll still be able to evaporate when we have it in the bell jar. The last thing I'm going to add is a few of these chips of marble. Now they're there to help things boil. It will boil even without these. It's not doing any chemical reaction. But boiling likes to need, needs to have some spot where the bubbles form and so they can form around those those chips. We'll take the whole thing, we're going to set it inside our bell jar, and then we're going to put the top on, and plug everything in, and turn on our machine, and we can try and watch it boil. Now that the vacuum pump is on, air is going to be moved from in the bell jar out of the bell jar. So there's less air in the bell jar and less pressure, and that will cause the acetone in our flask to boil at a much uh, lower temperature than normal. And so in a few seconds, you'll start to see it to boil. There's actually two things that are going to be going on when this first starts to boil. One is that the acetone starts boiling, and that's going to cool off. There it goes. It's boiling away. Also, at the same time, some trapped and dissolved gas is also being boiled off at this time. So it's kind of both of them at the same time. And you see it boiling off, and it's chilling the acetone down. It's cooling the acetone. It's also cooling off the water down. All right? And so the water and the acetone are getting colder as it boils. And the uh, vacuum pump will continue to move that away outside of the bell jar to uh, keep it going. And now you see it settling down and just giving off little small bursts of, of, uh, of boiling there. And that is partly because of how cold it is, and uh, and the the um, marble chips there are helping us to uh, get the boiling and keep it from exploding. And it's going to take a little while, so we're going to jump forward now, a um, few more minutes. And after four minutes of elapse, you can see that it's just settled down now, and it just explodes every once in a while uh, with a little bit of boiling. And it's cooling down, and you're almost going to start to see a little bit of frost there on the edges. And uh, that's slowing down. And then we're going to jump a little bit further ahead. The whole process takes about six minutes. There is a little bit more frost bursting up there. And this is a lot like uh, to boil water, you have to put it on the stove. You have to put heat into water to boil it. Well, th there it is. There's some nice uh, frosty acetone there. To get the water to, uh, to get the acetone to, f to boil, you have to put heat into it. And so that heat is taken away from the water, and that causes the ice. So just like you take heat off of the stove, put it into the water to make it boil, here we're taking acetone, taking heat out of the water, and putting it into the acetone to make the acetone boil. And as the water loses heat, it ends up freezing. Okay, and now we're down in the last couple minutes here, six and a half minutes later, and we're going to take it out and, um, and show you what happens when we let the air in. There we go, let the air back in. You see the warm air melts the sides pretty quick, and so that uh, it's still got a little bit of slush in the bottom, so let's take it out of the bell jar. And you can see, uh, poured out here, that there's just a little bit of slush inside. And we've frozen water by boiling the acetone. So if we dump it on a paper towel, most of it unfortunately melts. You can see the boiling chips, but there is just a little bit of slush you can see on paper, top of the paper towel there, uh, along with the white boiling chips. Yeah. So we were able to freeze something, the water, by boiling something else, the acetone. 
the acetone took heat from the water and was able to boil and become a gas, and the water uh, lost so much heat that it had ended up freezing and became a solid. So, until next time, enjoy boiling things.